explain it all. Everything that happened as a result of this fateful war. There's man Romeo killed, the one who slew Mercutio. Oh, my dear. And who started this bloody fight? Romeo killed Tubal because Tubal killed Mercutio. Mercutio is Romeo's friend. These are not people who want to. You can see what he Romeo killed Tubal, so Romeo killed him. Romeo killed Tubal? Tubal killed Mercutio? Who now will pay for Mercutio's life? Not Romeo, Prince. He was Mercutio's friend. His transgression was killing Tibalt. But the law would have condemned Tibalt to death anyway. For the Prince, let him be immediately I'm not indifferent to the outcome of your food. Let Romeo do Yes. Or else he is found him. He'll be put to death immediately. Bring in Mercutio's body and away. Come out of there. Come out of there. Come out. Father, did you have any news? What's the prince's sentence? What's going to happen to me? Not so bad. I brought you news of the sentence, son. What's not so bad about a death sentence? Less harsh sentence. Not death, but banishment. Oh, merciful father. Please say death. Exile is far more terrifying to me than death. Say banishment. You've been banished from Verona. That's all. Uh. Be grateful. Uh. Verona's not everything. Uh. The world's a big place. Uh. There's nothing beyond the walls of Verona. Only hell. Torture itself. Banished is just another word for death. Oh sinner, you ungrateful boy. Uh. You don't know how lucky you are. The law calls for your death uh, and the kind prince uh, has taken your side uh, and ignored the law. Friar Lawrence? What do you want, sir? Let me eat, and I'll tell you. The Lady Juliet sent me. Okay, yeah. Welcome. Oh, holy God. Tell me, holy God. Where's my lady's husband? Where's Romeo? He's here, drunk with his own tears, son. Did you say Juliet's name? How is she? Doesn't she think I'm a murderer? She doesn't say anything. She cries, then getting up again. As if my name was like a bullet. As though my name's hand has murdered her cousin. Please tell me, Friar. Where about in my body is my name? Please, Friar, tell me. What are you doing? Uh, what kind of man are you? I really thought you grown up. But Things have turned out so unluckily, sir, that we haven't had time to convince our daughter to marry you. Listen, she loved her cousin Tibalt dearly, and so did I. Well, we were all born to die. It's very late, but be coming downstairs tonight. Believe me, if you weren't here visiting me, I myself would have gone to bed an hour ago. These times of pain are bad time for romance. Madam, good night. Give my regards to your daughter. I will, and I'll find out what she thinks about marriage early tomorrow. Sir Paris, I'll make a desperate argument for my child's love. I think she'll do whatever I say, and tell her, listen to me. On Wednesday, wait, what day is today? 
Monday, my lord. Monday. <laughs> well, when is this too soon? Let be on Thursday. My lord, I wish Thursday were tomorrow. Well, go on me. Thursday is dead. Good night. shows a lot of blood, but too much shows a lot of grace. It still won't bring him back. Rather cry because the trust cult who killed him is alive. It's the trust cult. Rome. You got pardon. And yet no one causes me as much madness as he does. We'll have our revenge. Don't you worry about that. I'll send the money man to where the criminals got to leave. Yes. Let's put that behind us now. Because I've got some beautiful news, girl. It's about time to have some joyful news. What is it, mother? Well, you've got a thoughtful father, my child. To help you through this bereavement. You started something out. Something you didn't expect. What is it? Well, early on Thursday morning, Charming, young, and noble gentleman, the Count of Paris and St. Peter's Church will make a joyful bride of you. No! By St. Peter's Church and by St. Peter's too. If you like, he will not make a joyful bride of you. I can't believe this. My father that I don't want to get married yet. And when I do, I swear it will be to Romeo. You know I hate before I marry Paris. What kind of joyful news is this? 
Well, here's your fire now. Tell him and see what he will do. It often drizzles at sunset, but at the sunset of my nephew's life, it's a downpour. Still crying? A whole storm such shape. Have you told her of my decision? I have, but she won't have it. She thinks you will be kind. What? She won't have it? Isn't she grateful? He was looking credulously from one to the other. Isn't she proud? Isn't she counting our blessings? Insignificant as she is, we have found such an important gentleman to be her husband. We insipid piece of rotting flesh, little whore, you white face! Stop it! Are you mad? Thank you. Just let me say one thing. Hang you, you little whore! Disobedient wretch! I'll tell you what. Get yourself to that church on Thursday, or never ask me for anything again. Don't say anything, nothing. Don't even answer me. I don't got the dance now, I'm not gonna ask the only child. But now I see that you are cursed in the habit, even her! May God in heaven, help her. She couldn't take it anymore. Shame on you, sir, for treating her like this. What? So you're the fountain of wisdom now, are you? I only speak the truth. Get out of my sight! I think I get married. I can't love him. I'm too young. Let's 